Good day and welcome back to Chemistry Videos. My name is Clarissa Sorensen Unruh and today we're going to continue our discussion on balancing using half reactions, balancing redox reactions using half reactions. The last video we did, the acidic one, and it was big, <laughs> it took a lot of time. We're going to do the basic one, which is even longer. So let's start with that. All right, so again, just as we did, all of the steps, by the way, for the acidic and the basic are the same. You just have to add one extra step for the basic moment. So we're going to be doing a lot of the same work that we did the last time. For the basic reaction, you still have to separate out into half reactions based off of the element that is not O or H. So in this case, chromium is my element that's not O or H. And notice chromium, I only have one product which means that this product is going to need to be in both half reactions. So I'm going to have a half reaction that has CR going to CrOH3, and I'm going to have a half reaction that has CrO4 2 minus going to CrOH3. This is possibly going to double our work just a little bit. And one of the things that happens when you have this kind of reaction is that it is highly likely that you might have to reduce in the end. You might have to you might have duplication and you won't have at least one prime number as your uh, as a uh, coefficient. So you may have to reduce all of the coefficients by the same number. That's okay. We can do that. Okay. So, first thing we do is we separate into half reactions, right? Second thing we do, I'm going to do this all on the same color because I'm really enjoying yellow, is I balance every element other than O and H. Okay, so here we go. We have one CR on this side and one CR on that side. That's already balanced. One CR, one CR. Fabulous. These are already balanced. So balance everything other than O and H. as my second step. And by the way, I wrote out these steps in the acidic moment. So if you're like, what is she talking about? You need to go back and watch the acidic half reaction first. Because then you'll get it all written out and beautiful. We're just doing it this time around. All right, so I've done everything other than O and H. My third step is to balance O's using H2O's. So I found out how many O's are on this side, right? I have three O's on this side. I have no O's on this side, so I need three H2O's. On the opposite side, I need H2O's on the opposite side of the larger number of O's to balance the O's. Okay, here I have four O's versus three O's. So I'm only gonna need one H2O, and it's gonna be on this side. I'll go ahead and write out the one H2O here. So now I have four and four. All right, now I'm gonna at balance H pluses. So just to reiterate here for a minute, let's recap. I separated out into half reactions using the major element, whatever the major element is. It's the element other than O and H. I made sure I had the same number of each major element on either side. I balanced O's using H2O's. Now I'm going to balance H's using H pluses. So I add H pluses to the opposite side of the larger number of H two uh, of uh, H's. All right, so here we go. Let me do this as opposed to trying to say it in words. Here I have six H's. I have three H's on this side. So I need H pluses on the side with the lesser number of H's. And how many do I need? Enough to make six. So that's three H's and three H's gives me six H's, same number. All right, here I have three H's from this and two H's from over here. So that's five H's on this side. I have no H's on this side, so I need to add five H pluses to this side. All right, so now here's the step that's different. There's a step four and a half. We'll 
call it 4.5 for balancing use in basic solution. Once you've done the H plus step, you need to add to both sides the same number of OH minuses as there are H pluses on one side. Okay, so here we go. We're going to add, there are, uh, out of this whole half reaction, there's three H pluses on this side. So I'm going to add three OH minuses to this side. And I'm going to add three OH minuses to this side. Okay, to both sides I do this. Here I have five H pluses on one side, so I'm going to add five OH minuses to both sides. This is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to have to put the arrow down. And obvious, I'm gonna, obviously, I'm going to have to erase. All right, so in terms of this, now what's happening? <laughs> okay, you do this only for basic solution. That's why we're calling it four and a half. And at this point, you could add together the H pluses and the OH minuses and make those waters, right? So I have, if I add those together, I have three waters on this side. And the three waters and the three waters cancel out. So all of this could be erased. Here I have five waters, and that could at least be canceled out with one of the waters on this side to make four waters. Okay, so let's write out what we got. Let's erase and write out what we have as of this point in time. And I'm going to erase both of these because I need all the room I can spare at the moment to make this happen. All right. And I did the waters now. You do not have to do the waters in this step. I'm doing it simply for the sake of not having to write things over and over and over and over and over again. So it is a time-saving measure on my part. If it does not make sense to you, then do not do the waters in the midst of the half reactions. Just wait until the end. You could totally do that. You don't have to do it in this step. Like I said, I'm just doing it to save time. So you could write out that this is simply three waters and continue that throughout the rest of the reactions. You could write out that that's five waters and continue that with the rest of the reactions, right? And you don't ever have to write the 3H pluses and 3OH minuses again. All right, so now what I have is I have 3OH minus plus CR gives me CROH3, which <laughs> is kind of nice, right? That's easy to write out. Four H2Os plus CrO4 2 minus gives me CrOH3 plus 5 OH minuses. Okay, so that's, that's where we are. That's what we've gotten to. This step is to balance the charge, right? So you're going to balance charge, balance charge. I got to writing steps, so I went ahead and wrote start steps again. Charge using electrons. All right. So here on this side, we got to figure out what the overall charge of both sides is. So this is minus 3. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3, and this doesn't have a charge. This has no charge whatsoever, right? So that's 0. Oops, a little, little tall there, sorry. And this has a charge, this has no charge, this has a charge of minus 2. Minus 2, 
versus minus 5. Can you guys see that? Kind of. OK, so what I can say here is that I need to add the electrons to the more positive side. So between minus 3 on this side and 0 on this side, I need to add 3 electrons to this side. 3OH minuses plus CR. It's me CROH. 3 plus 3 electrons, because now I have a minus 3 charge overall on both sides. Between these two, this is overall minus 2, this is overall minus 5, I need to add 3 electrons to this side. All right? So that I can charge balance the overall equation here. Woo! And notice that unlike the last time where we had to make sure that we had the same number of electrons and we had to multiply both equations, <laughs> both of these have the same number of electrons already. So we don't have to multiply these by any kind of number. We just have to add them together. We can say, by the way, now that since these electrons are being given off, this is the oxidation half reaction, right? And we can say that since these electrons are reacting, this is the reduction half reaction, OK? And I can add these together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the um, reactants of both equations on the reactant side of the overall equation. And then I'm going to put the products of both equations on the product side. And notice that I can add these two together to make CrOH3s, chromium 3 hydroxide. There's one here and there's one here. So if I add those together, I get two. And 5OH minuses plus three electrons. Notice that the three electrons cancel out. Woo! And so do some of the OHs, right? So there's five OHs on this side and, and three OHs on this side. I can cancel out the smaller side. And instead of five, five minus three is two. So now my final equation is going to be Cr plus four H2Os plus Cr O4 two minus gives me two Cr OH three plus 2 OH minuses. Now remember what we said. We said that everything must still be true in the end that we did throughout the process. So I still have to have the same number of CRs on both sides. I still have to have the same number of H's on both sides. I still have to have the same number of O's on both sides. And I still have to have the same charge on both sides overall. OK, so that has to all be true still at this point. And so let's go ahead and figure out whether that's true or not. OK, and I'm erasing in the midst so that we can have some room to work with this. All right. Woo, I'm going to erase crappily because we don't want to spend a lot of time erasing. We just want a little bit of room to possibly do some things if we need to. <laughs> OK. All right, so crappy erasing versus crappy erasing is not the end of the world. And it won't be the, it's not the first time, won't be the last time either. All right, that's semi-OK erasing. It's not the worst ever. All right, so let's make sure that we have the same number of CR, CRs on both sides. I have two CRs on this side and two CRs on this side. That's cool. I have eight H's, and I have two times three times one, that's six, plus two times one, which is two. Six plus two is eight H's. Awesome. I have four O's and four O's, which makes eight O's. I need the same number of O's. I have two times three times one, which is six, plus two times one, which is two. Six plus two is eight. So I have eight O's as well. I have an overall minus 2 charge on this side, 
and I have an overall, it's because I have just one times minus two, and I have an overall minus two charge on this side because there's just a two times minus one. And that is charged balanced, folks. So that is a balanced chemical equation, and that is our answer in the end. Let's box it because it took a lot of work to get there. Woo! There it is. All right. Until next time, I bid you adieu. See you later.